gospel for the kingdom of God is at hand. The gospel according to St. Mark chapter 1 verse 15. This is the beginning of the proclamation of our Lord Jesus Christ during his earthly ministry. He came to preach only one thing and that is the gospel. And my dear brothers and sisters, we have to reflect this aspect in a deeper way. What is this kingdom that Christ is referring to? What and how can we compare the kingdom of God? In our Lord's prayer, we do pray, Thy kingdom come. What is precisely that? We are inviting every day to dwell in our midst. And in our today's gospel, Jesus is bringing this aspect of the gospel in our human terms, in the terms and conditions we are familiar with. The terms that we are, we are being associated with every day, in our everyday dealings. But to understand today's gospel, my dear brothers and sisters, let me take you a little bit back to our first reading. It was the Lord who led Jeremiah to a particular incident, and this incident is very unique. The vessel that the potter was making of clay was spoiled in the potter's hand. However, something unique happened to them. He reworked it into another vessel. Inspired by this incident, Jeremiah realized at that very moment that the Lord could do the same. He could rebuild the lives of people in spite of their imperfections, their failures, their sins, and their difficulties as well. The incident that led Jeremiah is very unique. And what he witnessed, it gave him inspiration and hope to keep on striving in spite of what. In this regard, Jesus in the Gospel tells us that the net that was thrown into the sea gathered fish of all kinds. Good and bad, small and big. But men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the wood in two vessels, but threw the bad ones. This is just a comparison of how the kingdom of God looks like and how we should strive for this kingdom. Our God is impartial. He is good with bad and evil. As a matter of fact, He came to call sinners to repentance, but not righteous. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, our gospel today is reminding us to turn to God. St. Paul will remind us to walk in a journey, in a way worthy of our calling. And we are all called to follow that in our two Christian vocations. We should realize that our lives too, we are in fact led by God. And many times we deny this fact. We are now, our world is now moving to a very selfish, self-centered world. Though we claim, and we are claiming, it is becoming a global village, this sometimes is not speaking to the essence. Let us ask God, my dear brothers and sisters, to give us the Spirit so that we can be able to discern between good 
and evils. Does it enable us to inherit the kingdom of our Heavenly Father prepared for us from the beginning of the world? May God help us, may God generate us, and may He give us strength and courage. Amen.